Hello, Matujime, and you're watching Notice Express on Hornbill TV. Security forces have arrested an active cater of proscribed outfit National Revolutionary Front of Manipur and RFM from Lampel Rims Road near Rims Gate on Tuesday. The arrested person have been identified as his Nam James Singh at Kumar. 33 years, he was involved in extortion of money from various places in Imphal area. Security forces recovered and seized one two-wheeler vehicle and one mobile phone from his possession. The arrested person and the seized items have been handed over to the concerned for the police station for further necessary actions, police reports said. The Johar police have been issued a show cause notice by a court for brutally assaulting a detainee. Police had claimed that a detainee Kush Kutum was arrested for theft but tried to escape from police custody with handcuffs on his wrists. However, the family of Kush Kutum had claimed that he did not attempt to escape. They had also claimed that after the police shot him, they inserted their fingers on the wound, further agonizing him. Kush is currently undergoing treatment at Dibrukar Sam Medical College and is said to be in critical condition. Senior Advocate Rintu Goswami addressed a press meet today and condemned the brutality of Assam police. He had demanded an inquiry on the matter. আছো <laughs> 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 মানে <laughs> 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 এনেকে কিবা মদ পানিও এনেকা না খায় এটা বা বিহু মাগে লগর খাব তারপর না ইয়ে গতিব কোপা ইয়ে এইবিল খাবলে পাই আনিলে মো খাবলে পাও ঘটনাটা এনেকা ধরনের যে পুলিবর থানাত একটা গোসর রুজু হয়েছিল পুলিবর পি এস সিক্সটি অবলিক টু থাউজেন্ড টুয়েন্টি এই গোসরট এটা মটর পাম পানি উঠা পাম চুরি করা সম্পর্কত একটা গোসর রুজু হয়েছিল এই গোসর সম্পর্ক পাঁচ তারিখের দিন কুশ কুটুম বলে এগারী ব্যক্তি আমার এই আইতার লড়া এরেস্ট করেছিল এরেস্ট করে পেলে আদালত হাজির করেছিল আদালত হাজির করে পুলিশে তিন দিনের বাবে পুলিশের রিমান্ড বিচারি আদালতে এদিনের পুলিশের রিমান্ড দিছিল পুলিশের রিমান্ডত থাকা অবস্থাত পুলিশ রিমান্ডত থাকা অবস্থাত ছয় তারিখের দিন রাতপা একটা ঘটনা সংঘটিত হয়েছে এখেতসলের ঘর পিছপিনের পথারখন সেই পথারখন সেই লড়জনক গুলিওয়া হয়েছে আর তিনটা গুলির শব্দ শুনেছে তৎকালীনভাবে চারি তারিখে রাতপা যেটা ঘটনাটা হল তখন অকল পরিয়ালের মানুষ গাঁর মানুষ রান্ধনি ছয় তারিখের দিনা যেটা ঘটনাটা সংঘটিত হল সকল গল গিয়ে পেলায় দেখিছে লড়াট তেজারে লুতুরি পুতুরি হয়েছে তার বুকুত গুলি লাগিছে আর গুলি লগা অবস্থাতো তার ভিতর থাকা গুলি তো উলিয়াবলে পুলিশে হাতের চেষ্টা করে আছে গতি এই গুলিবিদ্ধ লড়জনক যে পিছত পুলিবর থানালে লো অনা হল পুলিবর থানার পর জোরহাট মেডিকেল কলেজলে আনলে আর লড়জনের অবস্থা সংকটজনক দেখি পেলায় পুলিশে আদা মানে চিকিৎসকর পরামর্শ মতে ডিগড় মেডিকেল কলেজলে ল যাওয়া হল ডিগড় মেডিকেল কলেজ ধরা পড়িল যে এটা গুলি বুকুত লাগিছে আর এটা গুলি রাজহারত লাগিছে রাজহারত যুক্ত গুলি লাগিছে সেই গুলি তো এটাও উলিয়াবরা নাই আর এটাও সংকটজনক অবস্থা তার ট্রিটমেন্ট চলি আছে আর তেনে অবস্থাটো যুক্ত মানুষের বুকু আর রাজহারত গুলি লাগিছে সেই লড়াটক হেন্ডকাপ লগাই পেলায় থাকে দিছে তদন্ত আউতলে আনবেন বিরুদ্ধে ব্যবস্থা গ্রহণ করবেন গতি তদন্ত আউতলে কোনোদিন আনে 
সিপাহী এজনের এগেনস্টে গুলি মারিছে বলে কাইলে কেসটা রেজিস্টার করে থই দিব কিন্তু এসআই যাক আদালতে দায়িত্ব দিছে যে তোমাক কাস্টডি দিছো তুমি সুস্থ হইলে মানু তো আনি আদালতত হাজির কৰিবা আৰু পুলিচ হেফাজত থকা সময়ত তেৰ ওপৰত কোনো শারীরিক আৰু মানসিক অত্যাচার কৰিব নোৱাৰিবা হেতু আদালতৰ লাইট লিখা আছে 6 তাৰিখৰ অৰ্ডাৰ লিখা আছে হে অৰ্ডাৰটো ভায়লেট হৈছে এটো আমি আদালতকো ইতিমধ্যে জনাইছো আৰু পুলিচৰ পৰা শো কজু কৰিছে আদালতে অহা কাইলে ইয়াৰ হুনানি হ'ব কিন্তু জি সকলে আমাক নিৰাপত্তা দিব লাগে হে সকলে কি ব্যৱস্থা কৰিব হে সকলে এটো একো কৰা নাই আজি লাগে সংবাদ মাধ্যম যুগে পুলিচৰ স্থিতি পৰিষ্কার কৰা নাই তেওঁক এটো ক্লিয়ৰ কৰি দিব লাগিছিল যে এই পৰিস্থিতি হৈছিল তেতিয়া আমি কব পাৰিম জান কথাখিনি কি কিন্তু আমাৰ কথা হল জি পৰিস্থিতিতে নহক মানুহজনক কোনো কাৰণত আইন হাতত লৈ গুলিয়াৰ দায়িত্ব পুলিচৰ নাই আৰু গুলিয়া বলে আইনে অধিকাৰ দিয়া নাই আৰু এই যে গুলিয়া গুলি কথা যদি বন্ধ নহয় তেনে হলে কিন্তু পৰিস্থিতি অতি বিষম হ'ব আৰু ইয়াৰ পৰিণতি অনাগত দিনত মই ভাবো ৰাজনৈতিকভাৱেও জি দলে চৰকাৰ চলাই আছে সেই দলে কিন্তু পাব Recovery of arms and ammunition continue in Manipur. In the latest recovery information coming in, the state police commandos along with a police team recovered arms and ammunition and other warlike items from a secluded area of Wango Yilangpa Hill in Kakchung district. Subedar Surai Sambirla Singh of Kakchung Commando Unit said that he got lead from his own source and immediately a team of security personnel cordoned the area and conducted search operations. While conducting the search operations, the security personnel stumbled upon a huge catch of warlike items inside an empty rice bag. The search operation was said to be conducted in early morning around 5.30 and continued for almost 7 a.m. The recovered items were handed over to Wangno Police Station for further investigation. After the death of an 18-month-old girl child in Haila Kandi on 5th May, another 4-year-old child died in Silcha Medical College and Hospital on Wednesday due to the threaded virus swine flu. On 14 April, this 4-year-old kid was admitted in SMCH with high fever. Subsequent tests revealed that the kid was suffering from swine flu. With this casualty, the death toll due to swine flu in Barak Valley has risen to 2. A medical advisory has been issued for prevention of distributed disease in the three districts of South Assam, Kachar, Karimkant and Hailakandi. Jagdot Singh Nongtu, a student from Alpha English Higher Secondary School, AHSS Nongpo, has clinched a 10th position in the Higher Secondary School Leaving Certificate Commerce Stream Examination as announced by the Meghalaya Board of School Education. Today, the, his achievement brought pride to his school teachers, parents and the entire district. Scoring an impressive 438 marks, Jagdot Singh Nongtu attributed his success to his discipline study routine. W.K. Bla, the principal of AEHSS, praised Nongtu's brilliance, highlighting his consistent academic excellence since childhood. By Dorlian Nonglight, the district school education officer of Reboy District, expressed delight over the accomplishment and emphasized the significance of his success in contributing to the overall academic landscape of the district. Nonglight also shared that in Reboy District, the overall pass percentage for science stream stands at 79.29%, while for commerce stream, it is 79.17%. I think uh, you can just study like one to two hours per day, take it easy. If you feel ever pressured, sometimes you tend to feel pressured, you can just take it easy. You can talk to your friends and basically just take it easy and work as much hard as you can. Bring honor to your school. Just uh, my teachers and my parents, they inspired me to reach this level. They helped me a lot during my exam, supporting me, guiding me. And it's because of them that I reach in top 10 of HSLC 2024. To all the students, I would like to say just one thing, is that work hard, grow, and bring honor to your school, especially Alpha students. Let us bring honor to Alpha school. Uh, my next step would be to pursue BMS from a reputed college uh, so that I can become a businessman. And that's what I'm hoping for.
yaki kamtam yaki nong hikai ki ba support ye khun jonga nala kamen shibun kum nga ikmi ba chu busy be yaka kam lo jong ta nga sha i ye khun klem im yo lat ban le tu shan ru ba de na ka da ba ngim la ban manage ka timing jonga ma tang banga so kamen shibun namar is teachers boroi la support ye ta kamtam yaka jing mi not jong iru ตัยลาลาบันพอยากนะกะทองสิสิเซนกุมกับพรินซิปัลจองกาสกูลอ่าคะลองกะบูรัมบัดเนี่ยจินซอซอรองเองนี่มูเนเวคุณาอุยอะ
from the Air Asia India. The crisis at Air India Express comes a month after Tata Group full service carrier Vistara witnessed cancellations due to pilot woes. Uh, my name is Samrita. Uh, actually, I'm supposed to fly today or 8.30 to Muscat. I came here at 5 o'clock in the morning. Then, then I came to know it was cancelled. So then I fight with them so much. Then finally I got the ticket for tomorrow. Actually, this is very urgent. My, since my husband was hospitalized in Muscat. So for medical emergency, emergency, actually I'm going. So I explained my situation and then they gave me the ticket for tomorrow, very next day. The passengers actually they said they don't have ticket till uh, 17th of this month. They probably get after 70, may or may not be, that is not uh, uh, confirmed yet. The refund also they provide only after two weeks. I, I was actually about to change the flight. I was planning to take some other flight, but then uh, they said they can give now. There was two, uh, they got two seat cancelled, so they gave me that seat. The pharmaceutical giant AstraZeneca's COVID-19 vaccine is being withdrawn worldwide after the company acknowledged for the first time in court documents that it can cause a rare and dangerous side effect. AstraZeneca has announced that the vaccine was being removed from markets for commercial reasons. It further said that the vaccine was no longer being made or supplied, having been superseded by updated vaccine that fight new variants. The application to withdraw the vaccine was made on March 5 and came into effect on May 7. The vaccine can be no longer used in the European Union following the company's decision to withdraw its marketing authorization. Similar applications will be submitted in the UK and other nations in the coming months that have given a go-ahead to the vaccine known as Vaxivaria. In recent months, Vaxivaria has come under scrutiny over a very rare side effect which causes blood clots and low blood platelet counts. In court, documents AstraZeneca in the High Court in February admitted that the vaccine can, in very rare cases, cause TTS. TTS, which stands for thrombosis with thrombocotop syndrome, has been associated with at least 81 deaths in the UK and hundreds of serious injuries. More than 50 alleged victims and grieving relatives have filed a lawsuit against AstraZeneca in a High Court case. AstraZeneca has insisted that the decision to withdraw the vaccine is not related to the case of admission that it can cause TTS and term the timing a pure coincidence, according to the Delicraft report. A bus carrying polling personnel burst into flames on Tuesday night while returning from Gola village in the Multai Assembly constituency of Betul Lok Sabha constituency of Betul in Madhya Pradesh. The polling personnel reportedly jumped off the bus and were safe. However, four EVMs suffered damage to their parts. Betul SP Nishal Jaria informed that the polling personnel left with EVMs of six polling booths. The fire broke out due to a mechanical fault, while two EVMs suffered major damages. Four have been partially damaged. There were 36 people on the bus. They jumped out of the bus by somehow breaking the glass on the windows of the bus as its door got jammed. Meanwhile, a case has been registered in this regard. That's all we have for now. Keep watching Hornbill TV.